Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Big Fish Synergy. <laughs> oh man, that was terrible. Uh, I am here today to talk to you about a topic that maybe some of you are familiar with, but I feel like the vast majority kind of neglect uh, because it's kind of daunting, but I am here to talk about the one, the only, Magnum Square Bill, and one in particular that gets it done in every single application in every season. It is the Depths Evoke 4.0. So without further ado, cue the music, let's get into it. Depths Evoke 4.0. I have fished a lot of Magnum Square Bills. I've experimented a ton over the past three years with a lot of different companies. I am here to say that this is by far the most productive Magnum Square Bill that I fished to date. And going further, I think it's the most productive Magnum Square Bill here in the Northeast. If you get on a bite with this and you figure out a pattern, you can easily have 10 to 20 fish days on a Magnum Square Bill, if it's the right time. Um, so yeah, let's look at some catches and then we'll break down the bait and the gear that I utilized to fish this thing. Cause it took a, it took a while to figure out what was really the best. Awesome. All right, everyone. Hey, same kind of conditions. It was yesterday. Don't really know how much uh, time I'm gonna have here before the skies and the heavens open up. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna attempt to throw, I know this dives to nine feet, but I'm gonna attempt to like really just slow crank this thing. I think it's got the right profile. This is the Depths Evoke 4.0, as you can see here. Um, I just think they're on bluegill right now. And I think this thing is like gonna present a little bit different look than what they're used to. And I think it's a big enough profile to get their attention in this weird stained water. Let's just see. I mean, that is a lot of thump right there. Man, I'm just throwing this I'm, I don't know if I should be throwing it on it, but I'm throwing it on a, uh, uh, God, can I, can I speak? A TS Blackjack. And actually, because I have a little bit heavier line, I think it's actually working in my favor here. Just keeping it up in the strike zone a little bit. Man, the visibility here is just insane. It's just so low, it's so muddy. There's a swipe right there, did you see that? Okay, so that's, that's what I'm looking for. So that is the right profile. So they're pretty much exactly where I think they're gonna be, kind of hiding in cover. They couldn't be any more annoying. Got him. Wow. Oh! 
cool bite. Oh man, he really hit it. Ooh. Probably two and a half. Yep, 2.9. Nice fish. See you, bud. That's a good one. Dude, that's a good fish. I did not expect that. I really did not expect that. Guys, just got on this beauty. This is uh, another one on the Evoke 4.0. Absolutely smoked it. We're gonna get a release. Wow, right before dark, awesome. Here we go with the release. They're on this square bill. Guys, just got another solid one. I mean, these are all two and a half to three pounds on the Depths Evoke 4.0 post spawn bass. That's the way to do it. Just unbelievable.
good one. Dude, that's a, that is legit. That's a four. Definitely four pounds. Guys, yet again, the Evoke 4.0 comes up huge. This thing is, this is a long fish. I mean, it's totally spawned out, but look at that. That is a beauty. Uh, just came up and kissed it, and that nameless custom just kept it pinned yet again. It's just un, un freaking believable. Uh, we're gonna get a weight, and we're gonna get this thing back in. Beat the skunk. Woo! The forage in here seems to be gill related. Let's see if I can get this guy to eat a big crank. Yeah, he's just protecting. looking at it. I tell you, that's a beautiful pronounced stripe that he's got. A buck nail. Where is the female is the question. Not interested at all. I knew it. Reaction bite. The 
you guys just got this two pound chunk or so on the uh, Depths of Oak 4.0, maybe two pounds if I'm lucky. But I was just kind of pissing them off and getting real crazy with the reaction bite and this guy took a crack at it. So we'll uh, get a release right now. Awesome. Here's the uh, release. See you, buddy. He was at the other show, too. Was, it, was that the Suffering one? Oh, that was the, uh, the oh, I gotcha. Was, uh, was he cool, man? I actually love Oliver Nye, dude. He's great. He's, uh, I'm, I'm known for a long time. He always responds to my, dude, he like is, at, he never has big timed me. He's always like responded to questions or he'll comment too. He, he's, he's a cool. He's uh, following me since like, I've had screen followers. So. That's so awesome, dude. For a long time. And he's like, he, he recognized me. I was like, yo, what's up, Oliver? He's like, oh, dude, you've grown so much. No way. I met him like four or five years ago at a uh, expo in uh, New York State. Uh, that was the, was that the Suffering one? It might be, it's in, it's in uh, high school. Yeah, I think that definitely, I saw that. There's a video of that, right? Yeah. His, uh, that was, the, dude, that's a cool seminar, man. It was. That's literally, that was the day I bought my first one day because of him. Was that the Defiant? Nope. Is he, does he make, oh yeah, here we go. Good one? No. Nah, it's a little guy. Good guy. Great. Dude, that's solid, man. I told you that crank was gonna come into play, man. Dude, that was fast. Hell, hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah, Healthy. dude. Look, look at that thing. Healthy one, man. Dude, great, man. Hell yeah. Wait, let me get, grab a uh, first North Jersey this, bass. That's my first. Yeah, wait, hold on. This I looks dangerous. Yeah, just yeah. small bass and hooks don't go well. Dude, thanks, brother. Get nice off. two pounder, man. Or maybe it's two pounds. I don't know. I can make it look huge. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, bro. Dude, can you believe the Depths Evoke 4.0 comes up again, man? Got it. Perfect, bro. Thank you, man. Oh yeah. See you, buddy. I, dude, this. I'm telling you, man. That's the right. Finally. Right back down. Dude, that thing was nice good. That was a good one. Yeah. Dude, he
Patrick. <laughs> wow. Dude, he tattooed that. Uh, That's a big pick roll. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Alright guys, got a uh, giant pick. Look at how fat this guy is. Uh, Oops. On the uh, Depths of Oak 4.0. Came in and uh, absolutely killed it. So I'm kind of in a strange position right here. So uh, I'm just going to free this guy up and uh, turn him loose. But he hit it a mile out and I was just kind of slow cranking with pauses. All right, let's get him back in. Hey buddy. See ya. There he goes. Wow, that was a monster pickle, huh? Okay, so yeah, the Depths Evoke 4.0. This is in the, uh, I believe this is the Scum Purge color. It might be real bluegill. They look very similar. Either one is gonna get you bit. And I, again, I would really, really urge you to get the bluegill colors, especially if you're here in the Northeast and just fish the absolute snot out of them. Experiment with different retrieves. I've caught them a variety of different ways. I catch them on a straight retrieve. I catch them up top at the surface on a really slow retrieve, almost like a wake where you're just kind of breaking uh, the surface of the water and then just letting it sit and then cranking down just a little bit. I've caught them on a burn. I've caught them on twitches. Uh. I caught them cranking off rocks. Every single crankbait uh, technique that you're familiar with, you can apply to this bait and uh, have it really produce for you. So let me talk about what I'm fishing this on. And it took me a while to figure this out. When I first started fishing the Evoke 4.0, I was throwing it on a Mega Bass Blackjack. I always talk about this rig. It is the kind of the quintessential do-all rig that I've got. Um, the, uh, again, the Mega Bass TS Destroyer Blackjack paired with the Shimano Antares. And of course I use the uh, Studio Composite 102 millimeter handle on everything. The uh, RCSC XL29 102 millimeter uh, handle. I think I finally got that memorized, but who knows? Uh, I've got to check again. Uh. But I ended up, I, I liked how the TS Destroyer fish, but it's, again, it is, that's kind of an a do all rod. It has a parabolic bend for sure, but it has a lot of backbone as well. It shuts off, I'd say it shuts off like maybe a third of the way down from the tip. It still has enough parabolic bend to keep uh, the trebles pin. And I have, again, I have never missed one on that. But if you're talking about really dialing it in, I have to say that this nameless customs um, 795, it's a 7.9, a five power, so it's a medium heavy swim bait rod, rated one to four ounces, and this is a two ounce bait. That is the best, by far the best rig that I have utilized to, uh, or best rod that I've utilized to throw this thing on. It has such an unbelievable parabolic bend. Let me see if I can show you again. I, I always fish, I try to stay away from as many people as possible. So I go hiking in the woods and try to find spots that nobody else would dare to fish. <laughs> so I can't really, I don't really have that much space, but this thing has so much, yeah, you can't really see it there, but you see that, that it's still got backbone, but it has a really nice parabolic bend. When a fish is on this as well, it bends even deeper into the blank. So why is that good? Well, you have these giant Ryugi, I believe they're, they're either one aught or one size one giant 2X or 3X trebles that are super sharp. They're big hooks. These things are thrashing around. You know on a crankbait bite that the bass hits it however it can. Sometimes it doesn't get a good eat. You need a rod to cushion, um, to cushion. Oh my God, I just swallowed a fly. Woo. To cushion the trebles to keep them pinned. And I have had close range strikes. I've had them far out. They don't come off on this nameless custom. Uh, I've got titanium guides, double foot all the way up, spiral wrap. Got this cool spiral handle. 
inspired by like a DRT type build. Um, Justin is the man. He is an incredible rod builder. This blank is the Taipan blank. It's made in the USA. The entire operation is made in the USA. A lot of guys that say they're custom builders get blanks that are from overseas and they assemble them. And I'm not saying that they're not quality, but I'm just saying that this is a US uh, blank, which is the only other US blank I know in the swim bait world uh, that people utilize is in, uh, that's popular, I guess, is the North Fork composite blank, like a Loomis, uh, used to be Loomis. He turned it into North Fork. But then I have it paired with a Daiwa Ryoga SLP Works collab. And um, man, it, is this a sweet reel? <laughs> and it's uh, again, it's got the Studio Composite uh, RCSC XL29 102 millimeter handle that I put on every single reel that I have, which just is perfect if you want to leverage these fish and maintain control over every single retrieve and every type of uh, run that the, that the fish makes. I have it spooled with 65 pound Max Quattro, which is really like a 50 pound diameter braid in any other brand. Um, I feel like you kind of need a, a thicker braid with this type of lure. I mean, if you want to crank it down deeper, oh. I think this thing will reach down to like, on lighter line, it probably get from 14, maybe even to 16 feet oh if, you, if you're throwing this on super light line. But remember, it's a two ounce bait and it's, it has a lot of mass, it's heavy. And I want to hold on to these baits because they're expensive. <laughs> and uh, you know, I don't want to let, let it go. So I feel more comfortable. And the way that I fish, I'm treating this more like a swim bait. Aww. So I, uh, I like to fish it on a little bit heavier gear, but remember this thing's rated one to four. So this sits right in the sweet spot. And uh, that Ryoga SLP works. What they do is basically take out the mag seal that Daiwa puts in the Ryogas and um, they, they put a better clutch in. It, the clutch is super strong, it's uh, reinforced and they super tune the reel. Oh. So you can cast this thing. I mean, like with this rig, you, it is one of, it's the best casting rig probably that I have, which is crazy because I have some insane ones. Oh. But man, if you find something like this, I got it at the hookup tackle. I don't know if they have them in stock anymore. If you find it, get it, get a studio composite handle, put it on, you'll never look back. So in terms of retrieves, uh, like I said before, you can really, you can throw this a variety of different ways. Don't be afraid to experiment. Get really aggressive with it and let the fish dictate your bite. I think that's important too. I've had days where I'm just slow rolling it and they'll come out of nowhere and smack it. I've had days where I'm throwing it and it's just hitting the water and they're, they're hitting it. Just because it's got the right, it's got the right paint job. Look at that yellow belly right there. And uh, I don't know, it's got this sheen. Whatever Depths does with their paint, it really does look realistic in the water. It's got the right thump. Aww. It mimics, um, you know, like a small to mid-sized bluegill incredibly well. And uh, again, experiment with your retrieves. Don't be afraid to wake it on top and keep it, uh, you know, up at the top of the water column and just dead stick it. Don't hit it like that. You can you can fish this as a pseudo wake bait. Um, I actually got it on the 3.0, I got a giant sucker Aww. to eat it like that, which is insane. A, a Red River Horse sucker Aww. to eat a Depths 3.0. I mean, obviously I'm talking about the biggest one here, the 4.0. But the 3.0 is pretty substantial as well. And I was just waking it on the surface and it cracked it. And it was just the weirdest bite ever. Uh, but bass eat it like that too. I mean, again, fish it, cranking it off the rocks. The bill is super, super sturdy. Um, you're not, you're not busting it off unless you hit a rock with this thing. And they love that, like any type of misdirection with a crankbait, absolutely incredible. You just can't get, uh, you know, any type of directional change is what elicits bites from bass. They're curious. They see a directional change. They see some smoke in the water when you, or some debris fly up and they think something happened and they take their shot to ambush right then and there. Um, and again, this is one that you can fish in every season. I've had success in spring, summer, winter, and fall. All you've got to do is call and I'll be there. I won't be there for you probably, but I'll be there um, on your doorstep at least, but I'll be here in video form trying to provide some insight to help you catch more fish. Oh my God. <laughs> um, 
it'll work in every season. It'll work with every retrieve that you can implement. Some crankbaits are not like that at all. So I guess what I'm saying is the sky's the limit. Get out there and experiment and have confidence in this. And once you get one bite and one fish, you'll start to develop that and you'll, I think it'll really be a productive tool for you. Uh, so yeah, let's look at a couple more catches and then we'll get out of here. Awesome. There we go. Good magnum crank in the right spot. Just can't beat it in the summer heat. Guys got another one on the Depth Evoke 4.0. It's 90, 95 degrees summer heat. Just basically throwing this thing in uh, areas of shade, bumping it a couple times and get reaction bites and get this little guy back in. Awesome. This just got a really solid one. Probably right around four pounds. Cranking it right off of cover. Look at how thick that thing is. Oh my God. Gonna get a weight and a release right now. Awesome. Four pounder, pretty close to a four pounder.
you guys. That one's right around four pounds. I, I caught one like that over there. You yeah. caught that here? Yeah. On what? On that crankbait. Oh, actually? Yeah. What? They eat bluegill here, man. Definitely. Are you recording now? Yeah. I'm, I'm on? Yeah. I'm gonna be in the video. What's your name? Yeah. I'll put you, if you want, yeah. I'll put you in. Okay, sweet. Okay, yeah, awesome. Well, you guys saw some, some really awesome catches there, and uh, I think you saw how I was implementing it. It's a super versatile bait. I cannot... Uh, Cannot recommend this thing enough. I would go pick one up. I know they're expensive, but they work. And the entire Evoke line works. The 1.5, the 2.0, the 3.0, and the 4.0 all get bit and they're all slightly different. My favorite by far and the most productive for me is actually this 4.0. I mean, this thing is just a killer, killer fish attractant and uh, you should be fishing it for sure. So please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you like this type of content. I love hearing from you. I say it in every video, but I love interacting. I really appreciate the support. And uh, get yourself this Depths Evoke 4.0. Get out there and get on some huge monster bass. Remember, one cast, one bite, one big fish. You know the drill. Get her done. Woo! See you next time. So what's it called again? Big fish. Big fish synergy. Or baby fish. Big fish energy. Yeah. Synergy. Synergy. Yeah, like two fusing two things together. Because I do a lot of conventional and swim bait stuff. Big fish synergy. Yeah. I'll Dude, you gotta you gotta subscribe, man. I will. Do it. Good night. Check it out.